for those of you who may still be polishing off the last few slices of black cake or the last drop of punja crumb, our next guest might have some advice you want to listen to. We're talking dropping the Christmas pounds and so much more with dietitian Natalia Rupert. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. <laughs> Season's greetings to all. Thank you so much for having me on the show this morning. Definitely <laughs> necessary as we transition from Christmas into carnival. Mm -hmm. Two seasons that really shouldn't be one after the other. Right? Really should have a little break because at least for my belly. But as a dietitian, it's not just about dropping the pounds, but about maintaining a healthy lifestyle altogether, right? That is correct. I know this from your Instagram. So tell me, what does a dietitian <laughs> actually do? All right. So a dietitian does more than just tell persons what to eat. Um, because contrary to popular belief, we are not the food police. <laughs> so it's not just about focusing specifically on weight loss, like you said. Right. As a registered dietitian, um, registered dietitians are qualified to assist persons in management, like nutrition nutrition management. So if you have food intolerances, if you have like a chronic disease, mm -hmm. let's say diabetes, hypertension, uh, we deal with persons who are actually struggling in terms of for eating disorders and so forth. Right. So it's more than just focusing on weight loss. Mm -hmm. We are nutrition professionals guided and equipped with evidence-based on scientific information to assist persons in nutrition management. Perfect, perfect. Mm. So that means persons like me who don't necessarily get to drop pounds but to actually gain and maintain a large, uh, higher weight, you are a huge help. Definitely, we All can right. assist. Mm -hmm. so yeah. We burn the gram. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep referring to the gram because as a dietitian, it's usually a formal set up an appointment, have a conversation in an office, but you're actually much more approachable. You're available online. Correct. You're much more digitized, mm -hmm. yes? Yes, I am. You can find me on Instagram as Trini Dietitian. Mm -hmm. I will actually start the platform, as you said, to become more accessible, especially during COVID, where, you know, we were on lockdown, appointments were far few and in between, or right. more so teleconsultations. And it was a way to let persons know more about nutrition and not looking at nutrition as being black or white. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. most times person have, persons have this restrictive approach when it comes to diet, and it should not be like that, I encourage my audience to have fun with food, enjoy food. Food is so much more than fuel. Mm -hmm. Food is love, food is joy. As a culture, a Trinbogonian culture, we yeah. use food as part of celebration. Right. You know, Christmas time is a time where you have ham, lamb, jam, pastel, sorrel, ginger beer, mm -hmm. pancha creme de works, and it's not just about the food in itself, but it has a lot to do with food history and tradition. So it's just so much more than that, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so for me, starting the platform was just to encourage persons to find a balance and a balance for Natasha could be different for a balance for Inga it could be different for Natalia because we all have different goals right. yeah. one person might want to lose weight one person might want to gain weight one person might just want to manage bloating or an intolerance right. one person might just want to eat just to be healthy just to reduce their risk for some particular family disease that right. they may have that's preventable so it's more or less just for accessibility, like wow. you said. Yeah. But going back to the Christmas, I know that mm -hmm. that's a question. I am ready. Mm -hmm. I mean, the thing is, as you mentioned that, the first thing that came to my mind as well was you want to enjoy your food without having any sort of perhaps guilt or concern hanging over your head, which is why your role is so important. Now, over the Christmas, you just, just gave us a list of foods, and there are more that we have eaten, and many would have, you know, just overindulged a little bit, just a little bit. So, and I'm, well, I'm sure you're used to that by now dealing and it's discussing with people, but do you have any tips for those who may have overindulged? We're in, as I Ianka refers to it, the Bermuda Triangle. Of time. Of time, <laughs> where <laughs> things just, is. what should I eat for breakfast? Should mm. I have ham? Should I have some punchagram to go with this ham? Maybe a pastel? What's going on this morning? What recommendations do you have for people who might be in that area right now when it comes to finding that balance? Right now, I'm sure that 99% of us are currently in that area in the Bermuda Triangle sure. right now because I myself have a lot of leftovers in the fridge. <laughs> uh, but the advice that I have for persons is one, repurpose your leftovers. Mm. So in the guava season that we are in, it's we're not going to tell persons to throw away your food. Of course not. Right? So you make use of what you have and you try to make it balanced. And we'll talk about how we can make it balanced. Um, if that is not an option for you, 
you give away your food. There are always persons in need or always, and it doesn't necessarily have to be persons who are less fortunate, mm -hmm. but it might have one of your friends or your neighbors who didn't get passed out for these right. on, pass it on to them. And it all depends on, of course, yeah, <laughs> so we could pass it on to Natasha. So it all depends as well on your goals, but as we're focusing on weight loss, again, repurposing your leftovers. So let's just say you have, um, you might have rice left over, uh, make it into like a vegetable rice or so. Mm -hmm. You may have harm left over and while harm, yes, is high in sodium and maybe high in fat, you can sort of that, add some vegetables to it and make it more balanced. Make it into like a, do like a chow mein with it or like a stir fry with it, okay. add some noodles or so. Uh, when it comes to pastel, I know while we were off air, Natasha had a question about pastel being yes. a meal and yes, <laughs> pastel, Although considered an appetizer, it's actually a full complete meal because there is carbohydrates from the mm -hmm. cornmeal, uh, there is protein from the meat, right. and then you may get your little fruit. Some person's not too fancy. Yeah, no, you know, no raisins <laughs> like don't belong in pasta. It's not that no. <laughs> But I keep putting but on I olives. I am team raisins, oh. and yes, there are keepers and olives. So pasta can actually make for a complete meal, and certain parts of the world it actually is. A meal, no, right? please, not just put a disclaimer. That. that doesn't mean that you eat like five pastels in one sitting mm, and say that that's is correct. you healthy. And that is where portion control comes right. in. Mm -mm. So we want to encourage persons to practice moderation and mindful eating. Be realistic. Uh, now we understand it's difficult to put a cap on it, right. especially when we enjoy food mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. But if weight loss is your goal, it's mm -hmm. very important to really practice moderation. And moderation can be different for everyone. It's a matter of starting your day, have a glass of water, have fruit. It's all about incorporating healthier habits. Right. With each meal, try to incorporate a vegetable. Like one of my last posts was bringing a vegetable dish to the family gathering. And yes, what's most time, Yeah, in some <laughs> yeah. cases, but we leave the dish. Don't mind leaving, but we leave the dish. Because in most cases, we focus on the starchy items. Because right. when you think about it, the lasagna, the potato salad, the pasta, the rice, black cake, all of those things are starch loaded. Right. So you want to include some kind of balance there. You want to make water your preferred beverage choice not poncha crisp not poncha on christmas crème. day sorry and you know we are already past christmas and we're preparing for carnival we are 53 days to carnival Listen. right so make water your preferred beverage choice keep in mind alcohol is high in calories and it's empty calories yes, it is empty calories. But you that. can get low calorie wine though, just Definitely. in case you <laughs> So if we're trying to look for alcohol options, because it's things that we have to talk about, especially right. um, as we progress the carnival season, you do your alcohol or on the rocks, whether it's mm -hmm. whiskey, whether it's vodka, which is actually low calorie, like 100 calories or less, your gin, your tonic, you have it on the rocks. Mm -hmm. Try to avoid like the mixers, try to avoid the cocktails, wine there's low calorie wine red wine particularly um you can get light beer so light beer is actually low in calories so there's always healthier options and of course again practice moderation with everything that you do mm -hmm. you know natalia i've heard a lot of people say that these low calorie options are not as healthy for you as the regular is that a myth that you could debunk for us yes it definitely is now when you look at processed foods mm -hmm. Highly processed foods aren't healthy. So making a substitute on an alternate option, it really doesn't. When you think about it, right. healthy, healthy, unhealthy, unhealthy. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think when you look at these specific needs or what you're looking for, say for instance, where they use sweeteners in place of, or artificial sweeteners in, in place, place of, of sugar, sugars, right. research is still inconclusive mm -hmm. to the effects because it's still relatively new. Um, whether it's been around for a decade or so, research is still being done in terms of the effects that it can actually have. So it right. all depends on your needs at the time. At the end of the day, it, you, have to, you have to pick a struggle, more right. or less. Right. I'm going to have alcohol. Either way, alcohol is not healthy for me, but I can choose to either have the full calorie option or the lower calorie op no, so option be because I'm eaters. trying to lose weight. Right. So. so we'll be seeing a lot of people drinking on the rocks now. We'll see a lot of people uh, making some alternatives or adjustments to their leftovers. And I know that Damien Kidd is one of those persons because he's been taking notes behind you back <laughs> there. But if someone else wants to get in touch with you to do exactly that, how can we find you, Natalia? And I'm glad that you ask that because I want to encourage persons that when it is, um, you've tried it all <laughs> and it's difficult because we know yo-yo dieting is a thing, right. seek professional help. 
And professional help in this case is seeking a nutrition professional or seeking a dietitian because sometimes it's, we need the support and it's difficult to do it on our own. So I can actually be reached at on my Instagram. I make it very accessible where persons can actually just send me a DM. That's Trini Dietitian, T R I N I D I E T I T I A N. I can also be reached at the Venus Clinic. So I actually practice out of the Venus Clinic as well, so I can also be reached there. I also have face-to-face -face consultations there. We can do virtual consultations. Right. Where is the Venus Clinic located? St. Augustine. It's in Austin Saint Street, St. Augustine. All right. Well, I'm going to be following <laughs> you on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's for sure. Everyone is welcome. Yeah. <laughs>